Me using my sat nav to try and find the way home after ten pints. Righter! It's strange I don't see any road. Well, I can't help that, Joker. The signal says right turn. Oh, how humorous! <laughs> Hold tight for the bumps of Daisy. Me when I see two junkies steal a six pack and a pizza from my local convenience store. This is me when someone offers me a veggie burger at a barbecue. <laughs> Hello folks, welcome back. Controversy today. Well, a famous influencer, William Hansen Etiquette, has made an outrageous statement saying that the proper etiquette for spraying fragrances is a mere three sprays. Just look at this. Let's talk the etiquette of scent. The rule is no more than three squirts. It can be one on your neck and one on each pulse point of your wrist, but no more. Outrageous behaviour. I'm going to tell you why I think he's dead wrong on this one. Okay, first of all, with all due respect to this channel, uh, he's got a great Instagram following, huge, huge following, I think over 2 million. And he also has been running, I think for many years, a website where you can book courses to help you with certain aspects of etiquette, the art of how to behave in certain situations. Now, I have to say, I do think his content is really good. I think it's obviously a somewhat tongue-in-cheek. I assume so, as there are certain episodes where he's telling you how to eat a pear with a knife and fork. Uh, <laughs> but there are other ones that are more obviously useful and you know it does provide some interesting stuff that uh, can help us in awkward social situations check it out he is really good i'm going to link his instagram i'll link his youtube and the actual website where you can book courses and find out more about what he's all about so hats off to this man he deserves his success i think he's in on the joke i think he's a lot more fun than some of his rather pompous videos about how to eat peas and things may make him appear i, th I think he gets it okay now however he made that outrageous statement there that three sprays is the etiquette now I, I before i get into my rebuttal of that i will say that he's not entirely wrong there are certain situations where you really don't want to walk in there smelling really strong if you're going to a job interview or something or meeting anyone in a maybe formal or business setting it probably isn't really a great idea to waltz in there stinking of really strong aftershave, you know, filling the whole room with the scent of Baccarat Rouge 540, which I find rather an annoying fragrance. It wouldn't be a great start for me. Don't forget, you can now become a member of my channel. Just click join and you get access to exclusive videos made especially for channel members and you get back issues of the live streams, which are no longer going to be staying up on my channel. Another thing you can also do is join me on Patreon. If you search Mr. Smelly or click the link in the description, that is where you get an extra weekly podcast from Mr. Smelly smelly only for patreon members erring on the side of caution and if you must wear fragrance for formal business settings maybe only going a couple of sprays or three i can see that that is a safe bet however for us who enjoy the fragrances and want to enjoy life and be smelled and be the cologne guy of course you know if i was wearing armani opera for a night out maybe with a lady dining out going for a few drinks and this is serious this is how i would apply it What's that? Two, four, six, eight, ten. Yes, I know on my head. Twelve, I don't know, fourteen, sixteen, twenty. I would do that because it's a fresh citrusy aromatic fragrance and it really doesn't have great potency but it smells absolutely exquisite fresh and clean and I don't really think I'd be filling the air with a huge cloud of fragrance so depending what you're wearing and the situation and just on who the heck you are you can spray a lot more than that that's all I'm really trying to say there um, what do you think about that let me know in the comments below no one's saying that you must always spray loads and yeah I guess you know you, you, you're probably never going to embarrass yourself by not spraying enough fragrance but you could embarrass yourself by spraying too much so maybe he's right and I'm wrong, but I don't care. Here's some other fragrance suggestions for you. So ones you can overspray. Armani Eau Porum, classic from 1984. Citrus Aromatic. Nautica Voyage, I used a whole bottle. Cheapy, soapy, clean apple or cucumber or crazy notes like that. Very, very refreshing and soapy. You can spray 20 sprays of that. No problem at all. And I doubt anyone will bat an eyelid. John Varvatos, Artisan Blue. I haven't mentioned that for a while. Sort of somewhat modern aquatic citrusy fragrance. Again, just go for it. Whilst we're talking fragrances, please do check out the recent reviews by the amazing Lania Smith. He's reviewed Gravitas Ascentia and Cipro Fulminari from Norton & Wilson, both of which he was very complimentary about. You can go to nortonandwilson.com to buy both those fantastic compositions from our perfumer, John Stephen. And the fragrance I'm talking about is Gravitas Ascentia, which is the flanker to Gravitas. Um, 
it is a really stunning fragrance. And of course, their bottles are absolutely magnificent. Um, they embody my impression of true English um, sophistication, tradition, um, honor, and um, grace. Here's my point. Very rarely, particularly on men, sometimes on women, but very, very, very rarely do I actually smell a strong aftershave cologne or fragrance on a man in the air. So people are just not being smelled when they're going out wearing fragrances. And, a, and perhaps if you're William Hansen etiquette, that's probably better. It should be in your personal space. And maybe only if someone leans in to give you a, a friendly kiss on the cheek or something, then they might just get a little whiff of your very pleasant aroma. And that, and that can be fine. But, you know, sometimes, as Mr. Smelly, the cologne guy, I want to go out there and, and, and put my fragrance out there so I get noticed a bit. It's just a thing about me. And my, my general point, actually, is I don't like these these received wisdom things of this is how you must do this, this is how you must do that. We have a lot more freedom than that. Now, now I must say, oh, etiquette can be a good thing. In this day and age, a lot of people lack basic good manners and courtesy. And etiquette can help us to remember that we have to apply those kind of things to our everyday lives and, and you, you know, say please and thank you in the right way to people. And that. So I'm, I'm not totally against everything that this gentleman puts out there. And think, I, in fact, I think he's rather good at what he does. However, I don't like these things where people say you must do this and you, so you must only spray three. Well, no, we can spray as many as we like. Also, things like I've had a lot of people say to me, Sometimes, occasionally, I've done a video and I'm standing up, maybe a short on YouTube where you see more of my uh, torso, and I've got both my blazer or jacket buttons done up and say, you should only ever do the top one up, they say. Well, it's just not always true. For example, here's Gilbert and George, famous British artists from the famous, maybe mostly in the 70s and 80s. And you can see they've got more than one button done up. You, it's not, And they're very smart people. They're not bums, are they? People tell you, you must do this, you must do that. I don't like it, okay? People tell you, 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 it's wrong to have pineapple on pizza. It's wrong to ever slice your spaghetti in order to eat it. All of these things are a little bit overbearing and not true. And I just don't like being told what to do. That's just, people say, you must always wear your watch on your left hand. I happen to wear it on my left hand. Today's watch is a Rolex. Date just 1963, stainless steel with its uh, engine turned bezel and linen dial. Now, I happen to go with the left hand, but I know a lot of people wear their wristwatch on their right hand. And some people would say that's wrong. It's not wrong. Some people say, I just can't, I can't, I can't unsee that. It's so wrong. It's fine. What's the problem? People can, can do that. If, if they want to hold their fork in their right hand, I don't do that. I don't get it. But it's completely fine and harmless. So I'm all for freedom to do what you want and be yourself up up to a point where it's not really harming or affecting anybody else or where it looks really uncouth or, or vulgar. I, I, etiquette or a certain amount of common decency and courtesy certainly is a good thing, but I, I want everyone to have the right to be themselves. What do you think about that? Let me know in the comments down below. I will leave it there. We will see you in the next video. Remember, whatever you're doing in life, let's project. And although life sometimes can stink, at least we can always smell good, especially spray like this guys see, <coughs> see you in the next video bye bye i cannot accentuate the impact this has in, on my skin this is a fragrance i would definitely take with me on a tour of italy this is an englishman in italy in tuscany that's what it is